What's going on everybody? It is the one and only Q here from Retro Q Gaming and boy today has been a day if you're Sony. Now we're going to talk about something here in this video but before we do it's the well hmm what's the best way to word it it's the recovery from a big massive negative backlash Sony has had recently but having said all that there's another video coming out right after this. Just remember all the positive, uh, positive, there's some air quotes there. Remember all of that when we talk about what's in the next video as well. But anyway, back to this video. What are we talking about here? Well, today, Sony announced that they will no longer be shutting off the PS3 and PS Vita stores. Now, if you weren't paying attention just a few weeks ago, Sony actually announced that they were going to be closing the PS3, PS Vita, and PSP stores later this year. Now, you might notice there that I said they will no longer be shutting off the PS3 and PS Vita stores. The PSP store is still going bye-bye. However, PSP digital games will still be available on the Vita store. So, yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, here's a laughable little announcement and blurb about the whole situation. And this one, of course, comes from Jim Ryan. Recently, we notified players that PlayStation Store for PS3 and PS Vita devices was planned to end this summer. Upon further reflection, however, it's clear that we made the wrong decision here. So today, I'm happy to say that we will be keeping the PlayStation Store operational for PS3 and PS Vita devices. PSP Commerce functionality will retire on July 2nd, 2021 as planned. When we initially came to this decision to end purchasing support for PS3 and PS Vita, it was born out of a number of factors, including commerce support challenges for older devices and the ability for us to focus more of our resources on newer devices where a majority of our gamers are playing on. We see now that many of you are incredibly passionate about being able to continue purchasing classic games on PS3 and PS Vita for the foreseeable future, so I'm glad we were able to find a solution to continue operations. I'm glad that we can keep this piece of our history alive for gamers to enjoy while we continue to create cutting-edge new game worlds for PS4, PS5 and the next generation of VR. That last little bit is extra funny, considering that he likes to say that, well, it's great that we can go on and keep this history alive, despite having previously said how much he hates Sony's history and looks at backwards compatibility and Sony's history as a waste of time. And I quote, who would want to play that? But yeah, long story short, the PS3 and PS Vita stores are no longer going to be shut down later this year. So you'll still be able to go out and buy whatever PS3 game it is, whatever PS Vita game it is, whatever DLC it is, whatever, anything to do with those platforms. One of the big things that people have been looking for is PS1 and PS2 games so they could play them on their PS3. There are a lot of older PS1 and PS2 games that are either hard to find or expensive now in physical forms and you can pick them up relatively cheap and easy on the digital storefronts. Now, first off, this is great news. Absolutely, this is great news. But on top of that, I am very, very, very surprised to see Sony do this. Sony have typically had a very, very anti-consumer and massive fuck-up generation. Outside of just regular old games, pretty much everything they do is a massive fuck-up and it's just completely in the wrong direction. Practically everything bar their games is a mess and a joke. And this is probably exhibit number 7426 of that exact problem. And given how tone deaf and fucking arrogant at this point Sony is, I am honestly surprised they even bothered to do it. But hey, I'm sure they saw how many people ran out in the last two weeks to spend all this money on there and thought, hey, you know what, maybe people are spending money on there. The big question I have is what did you rush out and buy in the last two weeks?